Hello guys and gals, welcome to one of How To Smartphones tutorial videos on the iPhone 8. If you guys would like to see other tutorial videos on the iPhone 8, check out the playlist in the description below. In this video I'll be showing you guys how to do a factory reset or clear the phone, uh, for this is for the iPhone 8. So if you're looking to sell your phone, uh, get rid of it, whatever, hand it off, and you want to clear all your information, it'll reset it all the way to factory settings. So the first thing that I recommend, so we're gonna want just go gonna go ahead and start off by going into our settings. And the first thing that I would recommend is by to clear um, your device, make sure that you are not signed into your iCloud. So first thing, sign out of it. Go ahead, click here. Make sure you're signed out. I'm just gonna ask you for your password, uh, possibly a couple times. Once you get that in there, and it's gone, and it'll look like this. Sign into your iPhone. Uh, that means that it's clear. There's nothing there. And then as far as going going farther and doing the actual hard doing the factory reset and the difference between the hard reset and the factory reset, the factory reset is a lot easier, less complicated. If you can access your phone, access settings, I re I strongly recommend doing the factory reset, which is this way. It's a lot quicker, easier, a little more simpler than doing the hard reset. The hard reset is good for when you don't know the password or if your uh, device you've been locked out, disabled out of your device and you can't get in. That's the only time I would recommend doing the hard reset or if you have a very big uh, malfunction, something that can't clear just by doing the soft reset. So with this factory reset, what we're gonna wanna do is start off going into settings, uh, make sure you are signed out of your uh, iCloud. Once you're out of there, go ahead and go into your uh, general, which is right over here. And select general. Once you are in general, scroll down till you are at the very bottom. You will see this reset option. Go ahead and select the reset option. And here it gives you a couple um, options: reset all settings, erase all content and settings, reset network settings, reset key, uh, keyboard dictionary, reset home screen layout, all this stuff. So erase all content and settings is what we're going to go after. Um, so this one it says this will delete all media and data and reset all settings. So it's pretty much telling you. All the, all the information you have on there, contacts, photos, uh, any kind of apps, anything will all be removed. It'll all be cleared off the device. So we can go ahead and hit erase iPhone. It says, are you sure you want to continue? All media data and settings will be erased. This cannot be undone. So if you guys are doing this to do just like a, just to kind of clear a malfunction, I recommend, strongly recommend uh, updating everything, getting everything backed up onto um, iTunes, iCloud, whatever you use to back up all your information on. And then so once you got to this point and you want to erase your iPhone, go ahead and select erase iPhone. And then from here we can see that it starts to go through the, um, the clearing and the boot up cycle. So this is still that first uh, boot up bar. I believe on this screen it's just getting rid of any old information, getting rid of it. And then once it starts to power up, it'll start updating and bringing back in all of the original factory um, settings that are supposed to be set on the device. So it'll be cleared as if it were brand new. So just when you start it up, you'll start off back on the hello screen, uh, starting through all the settings, setting up everything. If you want a password, uh, if you want to add a fingerprint, any kind of uh, things like that, setting up your iCloud, iTunes, that sort of thing. It all goes through it, takes you through that startup wizard. So just like that, it will pop you pop back up, and once it turns on, uh, it'll be back here. And one thing I didn't mention is I would recommend, strongly recommend having a good amount of uh, battery life left. Um, with this one, you know, I'm up there over 50%, and I would recommend over 50 in case you have a lot of information, a lot of data on there that needs to get cleared off. That will take some time. As you guys were able to see, that mine was pretty much set to already set at the factory setting. There wasn't much to delete. It went fairly quick. So then at this point, you can go ahead through the startup wizard and start your device back up. Um, and just I usually do it just to make sure that the iCloud is definitely not signed on. If you are going through it, one of the uh, steps towards the end, it'll say, hey, you're signed into an iCloud. Make sure type in the password to the iCloud to uh, fully reset this device. So I know on this one, I didn't have it, so I don't really have anything to show you guys. But make sure that's out of there before you go to sell it, because that way someone's going to be nagging you, hey, your iCloud is signed in. Please sign now. Can you get rid of it? So I strongly re recommend just getting rid of it uh, right away and having it all cleared to factory settings. And when I go to buy a phone, for anybody who's looking to buy a phone, um, when I go to buy a phone, I always look to make sure it's on the home screen. That way I could check 
the IMEI number, I can check anything. So if it's on the home screen, um, that's kind of where I sell mine once they have been reset and cleared. So that's, that's how you guys do a factory reset on the iPhone 8. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, go ahead and drop them in the comment section below. If you guys have any kind of feedback, drop that down there as well. And if you guys ha would like to see other tutorials, once again, check out the iPhone 8 playlist in the description below. That's all I got for you guys in this one. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.